Welcome back, everyone. It's Friday and Cinco de Mayo. I can't think of a better way to go into the weekend. So we've got Chef Martinez in the ANC kitchen with some easy recipes you can add to your menu if slash when you're partying today. Exactly. Hello, Welcome back, oh, Chef. We're thank so you. happy no, you're here. Thank you so much for inviting me again. Of thank course. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so before we get to the food, you're starting us off with a delicious cocktail. We gave our audience a preview at the top of the show. Not just a margarita. We're talking a Paloma. Yes. Okay. What's in a Paloma? So it's it's a it's a classic. Uh, it's like probably one of the oldest like drinks in Mexico uh, to go with um, it's uh, with, with your tequila. Yes. You can actually use like a young tequila, uh, so it's a blanco or a young mezcal, whatever your preference is. Okay. Uh, very simple. I mean, you can take it everywhere. Except for driving, yeah, exactly. driving. Yeah, we're we're driving. driving. Car, no, 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 no. no but you, you want to take it to the beach. Yes. It's very light. It's very like refreshing. Yes. So, uh, it's literally just like it's very easy. One part of tequila. tequila. Grapefruit soda. Oh, and three, <laughs> and three parts like of tequila. No, 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 no. Like, sorry, tequila. sorry, the other way. Uh, yes. So it's one part of like uh, of tequila. Yes. Okay. And like three parts of again your favorite like grapefruit juice. Got it. Okay. My favorite, personally, is to have a little splash of. I know. Mm -hmm. Grapefruit yes. juice. Of and that is. Juice. Yes. 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 Now, so, I have a question for sure. you. Sure. Mescal, is that mm -hmm. right? That's yeah. got like a more of a. Describe to our audience if they've never had it because. Sure. I'm not sure I love mescal. It's like a, a, a smoky. Is that the way to it's describe smoky. it? It's smoky. The difference between mescal and tequila is that the mescal, it's a. Well, it's a different plant. It's almost like the same as the tequila. It's a little different. But it's all about the cooking. The cooking process oh. is like oh. the mescal. It's, it's put in a. Under pits, yes, you know, fire pits, mm -hmm. right? And so it's that's where the smoke the sm comes ah, from. Okay, because so it's it's like it's like sweating under a pit, ah, under the ground. So you get that that real smoky exactly. flavor. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to turn one down. Yeah, no. I'm not going to turn one down. But yes. No, okay. All, good. All, right. All, right. All right. So let's start Beautiful. with this. That way you can pay attention oh. to the next okay. things. Okay. All right. Thank you, Chef. Okay. Now I notice over there. I think we're doing a salsa. Let's talk about well a tomatilla. Yes. Is that a salsa? Or yes. Am I, okay. Yes. That, the, uh, the, the, the tomatillo salsa, which is a uh, salsa verde, mm. it's like it's almost like a staple in Mexico. Like okay. everybody has like green salsa, and it's very refreshing. It's really, it's um, tomatoes. It's a green tomato. Um, again, it's, it's like tart, but it's like very fresh. And you want to put some um, cilantro, onions, serrano peppers. Now, if you uh, there's a lot of people that are like afraid of peppers, Don't right? Like the spice. But you can always like take the the uh, the seeds okay. right here, and it's gonna still give them the flavor. Amazing. Right. Uh, so some uh, onions, garlic, and it's very easy. Uh, I like this salsa because actually you can like use it in anything. Uh, on tacos, quesadillas, it goes amazing with like cheese because uh, because of the acidity of the of the tomatillos yes. Yes. and the fresh lime juice. So that's why it goes like it's. Yeah, so um, it, you well, blend it up and it would last in the fridge probably for several days to uh, go on. Yeah, Lots at least for, uh, exactly. Well, and I think Chef told us too in the commercial break that you even put the salsa, the tomatillos on pasta for like a light summer. Yes, yeah. So that's again, that's an amazing thing that you can put like on top of salads. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I like to do about the uh, tomat the, the tomatillo salsa is uh, to bring it an another notch. Yeah. It's to put avocado, mm -hmm. and that will make your salsa even creamier. Creamier, which I would and love. And again, yeah. with a grilled uh, shrimp in a cold pasta for the summer. Yes. Uh, you know, like some grilled chicken. You could have your cold pasta. You put like the tomatillo salsa, and, and some like queso fresco. Uh, Amazing. Good to go. this. Yes. Good. But today you're, you're going to put it on flautas. So today I'm going to put it on flautas again. So it's like, well, you have the recipe on the um, yes on on the channel. On the website. Make sure we put it um, on the website, yeah. So yes. flautas, okay, so basically you're using so what corn flautas, or flour? I, I, you know, preferably flour, you know. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry, preferably, preferably corn. corn. Preferably corn, corn. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, everybody's always asking me about it, like flour, but no, corn is like perfect. It gives like the perfect crisp. Okay. Uh, and again, like, you know, it's like, it's gray, has just like gluten free, you know, yeah. it's like, or anything, whatever. Okay. So this is my favorite dish because like I grew up um, with my mom making these flautas mm. with all the leftovers, you know, like if we have like beans, if we have like cheese, we have like, um, 
Uh, anything that you have anything, in the fridge. Anything, beef, chicken, you know. You told me mashed potatoes even. Even mashed yeah. potatoes, even mashed potatoes. We're you have like, like, you know, leftovers, like sure. mashed potatoes. Sure. Uh, hey, Thanksgiving, everybody has like, you know, yes. uh, turkey. Keep turkey. your tortillas on hand. And yes, just so anyway, so you just like, you know, you warm your tortillas. Um, now these flautas, everybody's always scared because they, they don't want to use like oil. Right. Right? Everybody's like, oh, it's too much oil. No. Uh, so you just don't wrap be worried. Them up. Don't worry. And so what I do is I'll put like pan, and I'm going to use the an air fryer. An air fryer. Okay. okay. Tell us how yes. long delicious. So, in the air fryer. So we we'll just roll our tortillas. We're going to have a little help with our toothpick. You know, put it together. We roll it, this. We put them in our air fryer. 390, 12 minutes. Everybody's oh, like okay. air fryer chef, is different. We're gonna Thank you. Chef. We're and there you go. We're out of time, but tell us where we can find you. Please come see us. We're going to have a, mm. an amazing celebration Come for um, all Cinco de Mayo at uh, the, the works at Chattahoochee Avenue, uh, La Luz, mm -hmm. and we're going to have great margaritas, so great palomas, a mariachi band, mm. DJ all Steve is in the thank house, you, so you. please come see Chef us all Martina. weekend long. We love huh? you. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, thank what you, thank are you, you making on this fabulous mm. Cinco de Mayo? Are you making all that? Let us know on our Instagram at ATL Delicious. and Co. And the celebration can